I don't know if the kids are awake yet, but they had to be to school in like 20 minutes. <laughs> How long have you guys been awake for? For one minute. I doubt it's. <laughs> I doubt it's been one minute, but you guys have to be to school in 20 minutes. Kids, turn the TV off. We don't watch TV in the morning on school days. When you wake up, you need to come upstairs so I know you're awake. Mom slept in. Hurry, we gotta go get clothes on. No, we can't play with toys, okay? Put those away and then you gotta go get dressed. But stay quiet because I think Morphe's asleep, okay? Hurry, hurry, hurry. Well, I tried combing through it the best I could. <laughs> it will do, we threw a bow in it and it will work, okay? I think of all the school uniform dresses, I think that one's one of my favorite. I think we found it at like the thrift store. <laughs> Here you go. Bike safe, dad will bike you to school, okay? You are gonna leave without a kiss. Mm. Oh, an eyeball kiss, great. Good little hug. Watch, I'm gonna give this a kiss. I think this went down the hallway. Mm. <laughs> hey! Did I get your face? Mm. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. Oh. Awesome. Well, the other kids may have had a rough start getting going this morning, but someone I had success. Yeah, you guys are probably so sick of us talking about pooping in the potty, but around this house, this is what we talk about a lot. Porter will wear a pull-up at night and he'll usually wake up dirty. And I heard him down here grunting and I was just like, oh, he's doing it again in his pull-up. <laughs> and before I even had a chance to come down here, he yells up, Dad, come wipe me. He had gotten on the toilet all by himself after waking up and have a good, you did so good. Thank you. Can you go get your underwear on now? Go yes, and, mommy, dear. Hmm. What happens when you go in the toilet? I'm a, they crash and then my tub wipers and chart. Uh, your chart? Mm -hmm. Emma made you a party part, a, part, a potty party chart. So we are going to throw a little mini party right now for okay, you. Okay, I die. I am making Juan and start over his conversation. I mean, close you so you don't see my messy cupboards. Tell me what he said at school. Yeah, so I was given a compliment yesterday at school. Not about my clothes or my hair or my good looks, but um, there's a couple of Korean kids in our program. He said, hey, you work really hard. I said, yeah, I mean, we all work really hard. So this is a busy program, there's lots to do. He said, no, Korean's known for working really hard and you work harder than Koreans. <laughs> I was like, I don't know about that. Like, we're all working hard. I was like, thanks, man. I think you work really hard, too. <laughs> you work really hard, harder yeah. than Koreans. You work harder than Koreans. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's yeah. my hard working husband. Ah, I think that's funny. Go get him, sucker. What is that word called? Tiger. Tiger. Go get him, tiger. <laughs> So Porter and I are coming to this park today. It's called the All Together Park, and it is, I think it's like supposed to be one of the wheelchair friendly parks. Oh, yeah. What do you see? Do you see your friend? Uh -huh. Where everybody plays. Hey Porter, do you see all this caution tape? Hey, no, seriously, come here buddy, look. Do you see all this caution tape? I don't think they want you on there. You can run, but you cannot hide. That says caution, don't go on there, okay? You'll get hurt, it's broken. Lucy, 
I put you on your back. How did you get onto your belly? You rolled over. She's been able to like be on her belly and go to her back, but that's more just tipping over. This, she full on rolled over. Before we go into the house, I want to talk to the kids and get any frustrations out so that when we go inside, only happy good words are said in the house. You said something happened and you were mad at something. What was it? That someone said I can't help them put, put up the chairs. Well, maybe they just wanted to do it by themselves. She said don't help me with it. Well, maybe she just didn't want help. Well, she wasn't. She probably wasn't rude she about it. She was one that was already rude to me before. Okay, well next time just say, okay, I won't help you then. Simple as that. I wouldn't take offense to it or get all upset about it. She probably just didn't want your help and that's okay. Cooper, what were you upset about? I'm upset something when I ran into the house. When you ran into a house? Mm -hmm. When did you run into a house? When I was, when I was going to Oh, so it happened this morning? Mm -hmm. Were you rude to him, honey? Mm -hmm. No. Okay, well if you did, say sorry, okay? I just wanted to do this outside because when I go inside the house, I just want everyone to be happy and a happy word said in the house. Do you have something you want to say? We are all happy. Put a smile on your face. Bigger smile. Don't smile. Don't smile. Cooper, big smile. We cannot go into the house until we are all happy. So will you please look at me and smile? Oh, that's a fake grumpy face. Watch this. Don't, oh, yeah, don't laugh. Don't laugh, don't laugh, don't laugh, don't laugh. Yeah, okay, we can go inside now. I'm in the car chit-chatting with Landon for like the two minutes that I have seen you for the day. And he's telling me something that happened at school, how basically he was the only one who got 100% on his school assignment at school. And it was because why, Landon? Just because I took the time to go in and talk to the professor and ask him questions and make sure I was doing it right. I wish that as I was in high school, even junior high, junior high, high school, and all my college years, why didn't I go in and talk to teachers? I wouldn't know what was going on and I would guess answers or I would just try and figure it out. But I think if I would have just like taken the time to go in to talk to professors, I probably would have done so much better. So there's a tip for all you new college students or junior high or high school or wherever you're at. Go talk to the teacher if you need questions and you will do so much better in school. Isn't that right, Landon? Yep. And the teachers like truly want to help you, right? I mean, that's why they're there. So it shows initiation on your part and they, they love it. So they get to know you better. You'll do better, I promise. If you remember a long time ago, I said that my best friend all from growing up moved back into town and she is finally in town. She's in a new home and so we are taking her dinner tonight and I'm excited for the kids to play with her kids and I'm excited to see her. So we are going to end the vlog here. Thank you all so much for watching and if you are wondering why we did not post a video yesterday, go check out the last video. We are cutting down to three days a week. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday is our new posting schedule so you will not see a video tomorrow but we will see you on Friday.